Do you think Kyrie should be disciplined in any way, or do you think the Nets should just honestly, allow the NBA to handle it? Honestly, if the NBA doesn't hand him anything, I'd I'd stay away from. Him. I'd be like, listen, we we cannot afford to have him coming in upset and pissed off while you're trying to integrate James Harden into the offense and everything. I'd honestly, I'd be like, listen, don't let it happen again. We're gonna let you off the hook this time. If it happens again, we'll have to. But honestly, I'd want a fresh start. I'd be like, come in. We're not doing anything. Come in. You, James Harden, and Kevin Rand, sit down. We're going to have a talk. We're going to figure this out, and we're going to get this ball rolling. I wouldn't waste any time on it. I'm le- I mean, if the NBA says we have to suspend him for four games or something, then, you know what I mean, the, This you you got the easy part. Discipline's already handled. But personally, I wouldn't even do anything. I would not pay him for those games that he missed, but I, I wouldn't want to give him too big of a punishment to piss him off. You know what I mean? Because then he's going to be like, well, I don't want to bind to the system or something. So – I would say no, but if the NBA does something, they kind of did your job for you. You know what I mean? Like you, you had the point. Part. The only thing I will say, and once again to play devil's advocate, is we had a guy like that in Demarcus Cousins, and anytime Demarcus would get in trouble, the Kings would kind of let him bypass. And what did that do? That built bad habits to the point where Demarcus became the guy that said. Well, it's his fault. It's not my fault. And when they didn't back him up, it's like, well, why don't you guys backing me up? I thought you guys backed me up. And that's going to cause miscommunication and drama. I don't know. And that's why I wanted to bring that up to you is to play devil's advocate. One, teammates are already probably a little frustrated at Kyrie because, hey, while they're out here going to practice, working their butts off, trying to win games, Kyrie is out here partying and whatever. And that's fine. Like we said, that's fine. But you brought up a really good point is all he needed to do was just tell his teammates that, hey, it's my sister's birthday. I haven't hung out with her months and it's her 30th, blah, blah, blah. He didn't do that. Now you put yourself in a predicament where your teammates are annoyed. Your coach doesn't trust you because you put out a bunch of rumors saying that you don't like your coach and you didn't want him hired there in the first place. And then on top of that, you have all of that mess in the locker room of, Oh, if Kyrie decides to say, hey, I'm going to go and just, you know, pretend like nothing happened. The NBA says nothing happened. Brooklyn Nets say nothing happened. Who's to say Kyrie doesn't do this again by March? You see that logo back there? That Raider logo? We had a player not so long ago that we kept letting get off the hook right after we acquired him in a trade. And, uh, you know, it got it kind of spiraled out of control to the point where he called our poor innocent GM a cracker before he even said anything to him. And then he almost tried fist fighting him in the locker room. So... And he also exposed John Gruden on Instagram. So let's, let's not forget for that. For no for no reason. His his apology video on Instagram basically was his nail in the coffin because he included the phone call from John Gruden, which was a slap in the face. Which so, was a very personal phone call of trying to be yeah. nice and trying to find out what's wrong with Antonio. He was just so, genuinely trying to find out what was mentally like going on in his life. And Antonio Brown's like, yeah, let me just clickbait this guy. Like, let me just clickbait bro. my coach. Okay, so for those that don't know, we, we were talking about Antonio Brown on the Raiders, right? We, we don't think Kyrie Irving's that bad or anywhere even near that bad. But no. it, it, you don't want to let it spiral out of control. So maybe you do give him a little slap on the wrist. But like I said, you don't want to be toxic heading into the heading into this big three area where fans should really be excited. You shouldn't give them a reason to be upset like the Raiders did with Antonio Brown. But that's that. I don't know. What else did you want to ask me, Amir? Do you have anything else lined up for me? 